In exploring the habit of sharing resources or giving, it's important to remember that Luke presents us with a radically different way of organising our lives economically as well as spiritually. They gave to anybody as they had need. There was a lack of possessiveness, there was openness to the needs of others that was deeply challenging then and is perhaps even more challenging now. Practicing this habit is particularly important. It can literally make the world of difference. When we first started, we didn't have funding. We just got going because we thought it was something that was really important to do. God provides everything in abundance and there are people who do not have access to that so we are we need to respond to share that food as share any resources as we're called to do in exploring this habit further justin welby's excellent book dethroning mammon critiques many of our modern economic systems it challenges us to live in a more Christ-like way. I'm always very impressed the way that people in our churches respond to international disasters, are lifetime supporters of fair trade, and do so much to help other people in other parts of the world. But sharing our resources in this way is not even going to touch the sides of a problem where we've got an international economic and financial system that is designed to channel money and resources in just one direction, and that is away from from the poor people towards the rich people. That's not God's economy, um, that's the world's economy. And as churches, we need to challenge that and come up with a new financial economic order, a new framework that can challenge this and further the justice, peace and integrity of creation. In putting this habit into practice, there are probably three major areas that we can reflect upon our premises, our people and our money. People who open their homes up to foster children as they give so generously to vulnerable and needy children. In our churches we can open up our hearts and our premises to others, offering spaces for preschool children and their carers, offering spaces for the bereaved and in our giving and in our use of time we can share our resources in ways that bless others and again, challenge the economic assumptions that can so easily prevail and limit the life possibilities of many folk around us. Mm -hmm.